Gosh, I want to be Miss America because we are Miss America 2.0 and it's so much more than being glamorous and having your hair and makeup done. It's about making a difference and being yourself. And I've gotten to do that through being Miss Virginia. And I'm so quirky and weird and ready to show all of the young girls across this country that it's okay to totally be yourself. And that's why I want to be Miss America. I would define Miss America 2.0 as being something that lets us represent exactly who we are without trying to be like anything that we are expected to be. So there's this perception that Miss America is this woman who maybe just smiles and waves and has a lot of makeup and hair and that that's what's the most important and that's so not true and that's what Miss America 2.0 is, is that it's giving us an opportunity to make a difference in our communities and be an advocate and kind of not worry about what we look at, look like and what we're doing is the most important thing for us. So that's what I think Miss America 2.0 is. My personal Miss America is my cousin, Teresa. She was just deployed to Iraq last Friday and she's a nurse in the army. And so she's stationed in Iraq and she is serving our country in the most beautiful way, helping take care of the people that are fighting on the front lines. And I think that someone who's able to sacrifice their, their livelihood and take time away from her family, she has three small kids, to be able to serve our country is really what Miss America means. And I think that being a representative like Miss America is someone who's giving their year of their life away to service. And I think that she is my Miss America and she is such an inspiration to women across this country. So my social impact initiative is called Mind Your Meds. It's drug safety and abuse prevention from pediatrics to geriatrics. And I chose that because I'm a doctor of pharmacy student. And so I'm able to see how medication errors in the home and with parents and caregivers can happen all the time and how they can be really serious. And that inspired me to start this initiative. I've also been able to work with the Virginia Department of Health with the opioid epidemic in our country. And particularly in the state of Virginia, it's very hard hit. And so being able to see that as a pharmacy student is what helped me to develop this initiative. And I think that it's a really important topic that we need to start talking about, um, especially the medication safety in the home. Because you know, when you have a sick kid and you're stressed out, it can be really easy to make a mistake and that can be really serious for your child. I think people might be surprised to know that I'm actually really strange and that I kind of like to do quirky things like I run around every time in, in Florida and I try to find all the lizards and I love animals and so I get really excited whenever I see any kind of wildlife and I'm just kind of one of those people that I'm always you know a little off track and I'm just like a little strange sometimes and I think that people have this perception of women who compete in these types of organizations that were always so perfect all the time but in reality I'd rather have no makeup on and kind of run around in my gym clothes and just be myself and I think that that's the really beautiful part about this is that I can just really be who I am um, but that I'm kind of a weird person in reality. <laughs>